Bigfoot fleeing with its baby, a tall creature spotted on a mountain, or the supposed frozen head of Bigfoot who just surfaced for the public to see. These are just a few of the things we will look at, so stick to the end. This video captures a scene that sparks up thoughts in the minds of Bigfoot critics. The creature emerges from a thicket and walks at a fast pace, though cautiously, behind a huge rock. It can even be seen looking at the recorder of this video, and it doesn't seem bothered by the fact that it is being watched. It stalls behind the rock, and when it emerges in its arms is what looks like a baby. When the video is stabilized and zoomed in, we can see its face clearly, which resembles that of a gorilla. The fact that it is bipedal distinguishes it from ape creatures since they walk on fours. It is covered in a thick black coat of fur and seems to be a tall creature. It looks like it could be fleeing from some sort of danger or it could be taking its baby to safety. Could this be a hoax? A person and their child dressed in disguises to draw attention? Or could this actually be the Bigfoot who is only looking after the safety of their child? To my head. In a recent video, this man, Peter, my father shot the Bigfoot in 1953, they had to cut it up, makes bold claims about possessing the head of Bigfoot that his father had taken it down 65 years ago and had kept the body parts frozen in their freezer. To me, this man, despite really expressing the fact that it is Bigfoot's head, I think it could be some kind of act, seeking attention from viewers. As far as I know, that could be a perfectly made sculpt. From all the video references about Bigfoot, I am sure its head doesn't take a human form, but rather more of a like. We cannot say for sure if that's the real deal just by looking at the clip but it might be a step forward to knowing the existence of unknown earthly creatures. A group of people enjoying a hike on Marble Mountain in 2001 captured a seemingly tall humanoid figure that up to date no one knows what it is. The figure appears to be on top of a ridge moving downwards toward a cluster of trees. It walks on two feet so it would easily be mistaken for a tall human being walking in the mountains but that figure looks way too tall for a human. Just look at the distance and its size compared to the surrounding. Its posture isn't straight either, so this begs the question, what is that and what was it doing high up in the mountains? Some might say Bigfoot is taking a day stroll, but could that be true? I haven't seen any footage of Bigfoot looking that skinny. Imagine you and your family are enjoying a harmless evening drive and get chased by a yeti. Well, this Russian family had such an encounter as an unknown creature chased them in their car and they believe it was the legendary yeti. As they drove past, one of them notices a black humanoid figure emerging from the tall grass, which makes me wonder if it truly was yeti, as I thought yetis have white hair. They couldn't quite distinguish what the figure looked like, so they reversed to get a better shot. When the figure realized it was being watched, it turned around and started chasing them. It appears to have enormous protruding hands and moves in a zombie-like manner giving the impression that it might have been a yeti. They drive away fast and the creature retreats back to where it was. Could this really have been the infamous yeti that resides in the depths of the Himalayan mountains? Could it have decided to take a trip to Russia? Three cyclists riding in the woods notice they have an unexpected follower on their tails. A bear caught their scent and became interested, so he decides to follow them. Scared for their lives, the cyclists ride away from the bear as fast as they can, but to no avail. The persistent woodland creature was hot on their heels, and so they decided to take a bold move and scare away the beast. They carried their bicycles head high and started to shout, giving to give the impression that the people the bear was following were actually three large beasts. 
which by the way is exactly what you want to do if ever encountering a black bear. And we gotta stay together. We all be big. The bear gave in and walked away, but supposing the bear decided actually not to retreat and charge at them, the events surely would be catastrophic. We have all heard stories about ghosts and how they can be menacing and scare people to the bones. And Leonardo's story is no different. Leonardo has suspected that his house has always been haunted and his suspicions were confirmed after he installed a fixed camera in his mother's haunted house. The camera caught movements of the oven as it opened and shut, and some of the cooking utensils were even thrown by an invisible force. If you look closely, you will see a shadowy figure moving across the room. He thought he could face it as it manifested itself in the room he was in, but it proved to be difficult even though he was steeling himself to remain brave. Leonardo thinks that the entity haunting the house got stronger and stronger over time. But that wasn't all. In the following recording, a pale face seemed to appear from the lower part behind the wall. And without a doubt, I believe we are seeing the spirit of a female. These events are extremely spooky, and the case is still ongoing. Leonardo doesn't know what to make of this haunting. All he can do is to only document everything. Evidence doesn't seem to dry up anytime soon. Something terrifying caught the eyes of this man, and they decided to record it. Underwater, close to the foot of a dock, was an unusual fish having a hair-raising appearance. Its eyes appeared to have been sunken into its head, leaving only two white dots as evidence of their presence. It seems as if a skeleton could be staring right at you, if not for its teeth, which protrude forward outward, giving the impression that it would not hesitate to bite your finger if you were to stick it in the water. It seems to mind its own business as it harmlessly floats about and swims away. What fish is that, exactly? Dashboard camera of a vehicle belonging to a female driver who captures an ordeal that can only be dubbed as traumatizing. It happens along a one-way road in the middle of a forest. After taking a turn, the driver realizes that the road up ahead has been blocked by what appears to be a white van. She slows down as she closes in and alerts the men with a horn, who appear to be dumping off their load from the van. One of them approaches the lady and strikes up a conversation that quickly turns to a life-threatening encounter. This encounter is so strange. What was so important that they were willing to go to such lengths to get rid of the video? I mean, if it was only thrash they were throwing out, they would be only fined for it. I think trying to attack someone might be considered a bit more incriminating. In the dead of night, in the woods, not far from a man's house, a chilling observation was made, and the owner decided that he needed proof of whatever was out there. We can see in between the trees lie two eerie dots staring right at the man's house. As he zooms in, we get a clearer view of the dots, and it is distinct to be a set of eyes. The man tries to identify what the mysterious creature staring at him is by calmly calling out. Hello? His voice is shaken and frightened by the occurrences. Could it be a more sinister stalking creature or a reflection of shining objects? Deep in a forest, a man captures evidence of what would seem to be a juvenile Bigfoot. The man seems to be following the creature with his eyes but quickly turns the camera and zooms into a specific area where it is seen running swiftly across going deeper into the woods. The small being appears to be bipedal and is covered with a thick brown coat of fur. What was it running from? Did it know it was being filmed and tried quickly to hide somewhere? As it vanishes, viewers are left wondering what this creature could be. This trail camera captures a male deer moving about in the forest, minding its own business until its attention is caught by something unknown. 
It moves toward the camera's direction and suddenly stops to face the camera's right side. This wonderful video catches a glimpse of its marvelous antlers and even we get a chance to hear its roar as if it was communicating. Afterward, it continues its merrily walk. We cannot say what the deer saw as the camera's field of view doesn't cover that direction. Maybe it was a roar to warn any other nearby rival. The sea is home to many unusual looking sea creatures and this deep sea diver encountered one. This fish is one of a kind and its facial structure resembles no other. It seems friendly and even the diver touches it as he tries to break a shell to feed it. Its face is more of human-like and instead of a curve to its head, it has bump on its forehead. What is amazing is how friendly and calm despite its abnormality. In this clip, a trail camera catches two male deer battling it out in the woods. The two have locked on each other's antlers, and none is ready to tap out and concede defeat. They push each other around while squealing. We can also hear the crackling and clashing of their horns. This is a common practice in the animal kingdom, as the male animals have to battle it out in order to fulfill having a female counterpart. This family was out camping in the woods when they encounter something that seems to be watching them. Their phone camera records a really tall creature passing in between the tree line. Although it is foggy, the camera is able to reveal a clear footage of it. It seems to be walking on twos and is completely covered with black fur. I cannot distinguish what it is, but from the minimal description I have gathered, this seems to be some sort of Sasquatch. For all we know, this creature resembles a Bigfoot, and its intentions are truly unknown. A man stranded in the wilderness of Russia is met with a chilling experience. His truck broke down, and he decided to search the snowy land for help. He searched for a long period, but he finds no help. As his stay in the wilderness grows longer, he begins to suspect that he is not alone. He starts to record and captures a creature that has been on his track for a while and could be watching him. The eerie creature appears to walk on four limbs, its eyes glittering in the darkness and tries to narrow the distance between it and the stranded man. It has a humanoid head and moves in an inquiring manner, as though curious to know more about the man stranded in its native land. What could this creature be? Could it be a man in a costume trying to play a harmless prank on the unsuspecting visitor? Or could it actually be a cryptid creature? A certain man was in a forest alone for God knows what reason. He catches a really bizarre creature between the trees in the middle of the night. As the man was walking, he filmed his path to document what happened to him. And what he saw would leave him puzzled as to what lurks in the woods at night. The camera catches the figure which is standing close to a tree. It stands tall on two feet, almost human. As soon as it realizes it was spotted, it moves behind the tree, fleeing into the woods. The man tried to follow its path, but to no avail, as it disappeared as though it were never there in the first place. What could this mysterious creature be? It certainly sends chills down the spine, as it seems to dwell in the woods in the middle of the night. What was it doing stalking the man in the forest? Or could it have been planning to do something sinister and simply lost interest when it discovered it was spotted? This trail camera in Menominee, Michigan captured an intriguing black figure deep in the forest. In the first photo, we see a deer standing in front of the camera, but our attention is drawn to the far left of the picture. There stands a tall blurry figure amidst the trees. The figure appears to be a bipedal creature, absurdly tall and covered with thick fur. It wastes no time as it gives the camera no second chance to capture it as it disappears within the woods. What could this be? And if it is a man, what could he be doing there in the middle of the night? In the dead of night, 
a time when all is calm, a camera under a bridge captures a nocturnal animal trying to get its next meal. It walks on the riverbank, increasing its pace, as though if it didn't, it would sleep hungry. It is lucky and catches its prey, but could not quite grasp it properly as it jumps into the water and swims away. The raccoon quickly follows it, but it loses it and it seems to have lost its night's meal. Another raccoon emerged from behind the camera and appeared to threaten the first one as it was given a menacing stance. It ignored the look and continued with its path. They appear to know each other as they are seen walking together on the bridge in the morning. On a cloudy day in the grasslands, a camera happens to catch the movement of a looming creature. At first, it appears to be still, but gradually, it begins to move toward the left side. Its tall, towering posture looks almost human, and it appears to have thick brown fur. If closely examined, its facial area appears to be white, though not clear, and the top of the head is almost ape-like. It turns away from the camera and disappears among the tall grass behind it. Just what could it be? The infamous Sasquatch or is a man in a Bigfoot disguise attempting to strike up controversy among the viewers of the footage? A sunny day shines on a pack of wolves, prancing in the snow-filled ground near a forest. The pack head in one direction and minding their own business though the recording camera seemed to catch the attention of one of them. He approaches the camera and blocks its vision as it fumbles with the camera. This video is amazing displaying the outstanding pack with their beautiful fur gleaming amidst the snow. Wolves are known to travel and even hunt in packs. This pack specifically looks to be traveling to a more conducive environment. Survival of the fittest is the rule of the world, and in this clip, we see a raccoon asserting its dominance over another. A security camera captures two raccoons following each other on a bridge in the middle of the night. The one ahead diverts to a tree next to the bridge, and the one behind closely follows. As though possessed, the raccoon behind ferociously attacks his comrade and chases him away. This was accompanied by a loud shriek as though to scare away his felly nocturnal companion. It appears as though there was prey where they were, and they fight for it. The chased raccoon takes solace in a nearby tree, possibly nursing its injuries.